Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities, Chris Tulu. Today is Thursday, 28th of April, 2022. We are approaching the month. Praise the Lord, the end of the month, hallelujah. And today's topic is the church dominion is forever, hallelujah. So before we start this morning, as always on this platform, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you. Thank you for waking us up healthy and strong. We appreciate you because you are a mighty God. Slow to hunger is your name. Beautiful in all situations. The joy of the whole world. Thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment in our lives. We are gathered this morning to listen to your word. But as we meditate on your word, we thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. And today's topic is the church dominion is forever. Matthew 19. Matthew 16 verse 18 says, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. That's Matthew 16 18. And our man of God continue. Some today are stupefied that the church of Jesus Christ is still waxing strong, greater and more effective than ever. I wonder what they thought. They had postulated and we are so sure that the church of Jesus Christ would be consumed by their nefarious plans, but they were wrong. Since the inception of the church on the day of Pentecost in Acts 2, it has outlived its distractors, its persecutors, its haters, its adversaries, and all its enemies. It is impossible to destroy the church. It will never happen. Those who boast against the church apparently have forgotten their history. When the church was still young, in the book of Acts, there were those who tried everything, praise the Lord. They could to stifle the church, but still the church outlived them. It is therefore a vain imagination for anyone or group to consider that the church will either go extinct or somehow fizzle out and become history. The dominion and dominance of the church is an endless one, praise the Lord. It reminds of the interpretation of Nebuchadnezzar, puzzling dream that no one could explain until God gave the interpretation to Daniel. Daniel 2. In Daniel interpretation, all human structures, beginning with the king as the head of gold, and all the silver, bronze, iron, and all the iron mixed with clay will be destroyed by a stone caught without hands. Then Daniel 2.44 says, And in the days of this king shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all. All this kingdom and it shall stand forever. Praise the Lord. The stone that was cut out without hand was from God, and that stone destroyed the whole human structure and set up a kingdom which the Bible says shall not be left to other people. The church will never fail to the dominion of domination of another. At the end, it will be standing strong because the church is forever. The Bible says about Jesus, the head of the church, and it is yet far more evident for that after the simplitude of Mephic, praise the Lord, Mephic, there arises another priest who is made after the power of an endless life. Hebrews 7 15 to 16. Hallelujah. 
Whew, praise the Lord. The church is going nowhere. That is our topic today. The church, do, the church dominion is forever. It's, it, it, it will stay forever. Praise the Lord. There is nothing that you can do about it. Because we're talking about God here. Praise the Lord. So there is no way anyone can smart God. Praise the Lord. So that is why the church will stand. That is the reason why Jesus came. To build the church. So that the gate of faith shall never prevail against it. So there is no, there is no, nothing, there is nothing that can stop the church. No allegation, nothing. Whatever they say, the church is still moving forward. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So we have to know that. Hallelujah. So let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I rejoice. Knowing that the church of Jesus Christ continues to work stronger and stronger, marching on in glory. Thank you for the boldness of your children to preach your word and the revelation of your truth granted to them to live triumphantly, always in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at 1 Timothy 3.15, Ephesians 2 verse 19 to 22. Acts 26, verse 14 to 16. One year Bible reading plan, Luke 22, verse 66 to 23, verse 1 to 25, and 2 Samuel 1 to 3. Two year Bible reading plan, 1 Corinthians 1, verse 1 to 9, and Psalm 137 to 138. So at your leisure time, please go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want to use this opportunity to invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. All you have to do is pray with me the prayer of salvation. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe it's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Praise to Lord. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you, brother. Congratulations to you, sister. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible. Praise to Lord. Get to know who God is and who Jesus is to you and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And look for a believing church. And also listen to fit feed messages. Praise to Lord. Such as this that we are doing this morning. Hallelujah. So thank you so much. What a lovely time we had with the Lord. The church is not going nowhere. Get it to your head. It's not going nowhere. It's standing because Jesus has paid the price for the church. Praise the Lord. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you for your word that we have had this morning. We thank you for your church, the gate of faith, and never prevail against it. We thank you for the life of the pastors who pray for your fresh and upon their lives. Father, we thank you for your ministry, O Lord. Yes, we are building and we are moving forward. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for today. Our steps are ordered. We thank you for your protection. No weapon fashion against us shall ever prosper. Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Thank you, Father, for your provisions. For in Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous Thursday. I will see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. I love you all. Bye.